Hey guys, Maxi Design here, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking. Um, we're going to be running through how to make a uh, tour banner leaflet kind of thing, um, just like this one that I did for Don Brocco quite a while ago. Um, I've just had a look, and there's there's like no there's no um, banners or or posters on YouTube, and there's no tutorials on how to do it. So I might as well get in there and make one for myself um, so what you want to start with is a basic image size I think I just went for uh, these that is definitely not what I went for but that, <coughs> hold on let me change that so I went for pixels 2000 by 2522 it's just a it's just a size that I made it for this one um, and it's quite a good dimension for a a poster um, so I'm going to take the tour dates here and bring them across if I can do that like that I'm gonna plonk them in there put it about the middle and then put the background uh, I'm gonna try and make the same one um, just so I can show you guys how to make uh, one very quickly um, so then I went for add a bit of noise because noise looks good on everything, I think. Uh, just a little bit, and then I kind of went on. Oh, I've got this open. So I went on Google and I literally typed in um, 1960s ads. Um, and you get things like this. You get things like um, like these cool pictures like this, and you can you can add them into your add them into your poster, and they look, and they work really like nicely. So if you add something like that, and then because that fits really nicely, and if I hmm, if I just make it. Like add some noise it will make it so the pictures a bit more fits a bit better um, right how am I gonna do this I really want to use this image if I do that right if I take the opacity down a little bit I can take out stuff I don't want without really affecting the image so you kind of just have to go over it a load of times because the opacity is only on 18% but it, it allows you to take stuff out without taking all of it out so I do that just clicking like a madman I just do some of this because I really want to keep, I want to keep some of this cityscaping as well. So if I do this, I might be able to keep some of that in. But I don't want it to be like rectangle, so I don't want to get rid of all this white line around it. Um, you see what I'm kind of getting at? Go over here a little bit, kind of like that. Just kind of work it into the image. Like that. Okay, we've got to start. Now, this is for Don Brocco. So, you want to change, you want to get like a quite a, 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 a wide text. So, I like this one, I like Druck, because it's really like wide. Um, and what was it called? The Technology Tour. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't really know. Just centralize it. Make sure it's like that. Um, and then I did like this. Um, and I think I did. Um, 
I did that and then I let me let me get that image again. Let me get that image and then take some of the colours from it. So I take the I don't know the red, maybe a darker red, like a like that. Get rid of it, then do the bar that I did. Kinda centralize that. Um, and then pull it out so it's right to the edges. These needs that needs to be in the center. Like that. That's the center. Okay. Um that, that doesn't look like it's in the center. There you go. There we go. And then I'll move this up just a little bit. Move this up just a little bit. Like that. And then this I'm going to turn into a gradient. So I'm going to do uh, fill gradient. And I'm going to do that. But I want it to be. No. I want it to be linear, but I want it. To, I want this to be more. Nope. Okay, forget that. What you want to do? Fill that. Make a new layer above it. Just here, and then create clipping mask. And then you can use the gradient tool with this to kind of make it however you want. And then what I do, obviously, <laughs> add a bit of uh, the old noise, not that much. Just breaks the color up a bit and makes it more, I don't know, I like, I like the look of it. Um, and then, then the other one, we did the text where what you want to do is stroke, make that white, and then the color overlay, make that black like that, yeah, and then you want to go right click and rasterize layer style and you want to take your magic tool and cut out all the insides, you want to also there, so you've got that um, so this is already, already starting to look alright, I think we need something down here um, if we move this down like that and then I kind of want to get rid of this so we can add another aspect if I turn the opacity up just for this part so I can get rid of some like major bits that just need to go and then put the opacity down again and kind of blend like that. Then I can add, I don't know, something like a 1950s car. Something like this, just to. There we go, that's kind of cool. Um, oh, I can't. Hmm. Would have liked to use that, but. Save as. No. Oh. No, it's not going to let me save that. Um, just want like an old image. Something like... Nah. You want something like a big file size, but you don't want to wear dimensions, and you, but you don't want it to be... That looks cool. I like that. Okay, let's use this. And if you see, I'm kind of making it in this like box. If I move everything up a little bit, I can add some more space to the bottom. So I move this up to here. Then I move this upwards to here. I move the the tour dates up a little bit. I can add this in at the bottom, and I'm just going to take the top off a little bit. I'm going to have to rasterize it first. And then I can. That looks kind of cool. If I make it. 
a little bit lighter so more aspects of it can be seen. I'm going to keep it on the same opacity so I can get rid of the sides and make it look like, see here, it looks like the car's like almost in the image so you wouldn't even know. Let's get rid of this Geno's thing. You wouldn't even know that the picture was cut off. Um, let's get rid of the road underneath. Just so it looks like the image is the part of the actual poster. Like that. And we can get rid of this. Um, do I want to keep that? No. Let's get rid of this. I'm kind of going to, I'm going to keep this bit because it looks kind of cool. I like how it, it sits. Um, I might get rid of this woman because she's not. Now I've put that in, I want to put something else in. Um, but I don't know what. Um, maybe I could just put the, the TV from the old one. Because that one, that might look kind of cool. Um, I'm just going to, yeah, there you go, like that. Um, so the, the, the reds kind of match still. I might redo it. Because they kind of match, but they kind of don't. So if you just take a, uh, just do the exact same thing on the, on the original one and like that, merge that. Uh, uh, you want to, yeah, and then you want to add some noise again. Add the noise. That's looking quite cool. Um, right, I am gonna add the thing, but I'm gonna move these down because they look kind of squashed. So that down, that down to here, that down to here, and then that can sit there. And then I'm going to take this, move it across, and sit that right there. Let's just get rid of this. Um, so this for this TV thing, I did exactly the same thing. Um, as these images, I kind of just brought them in, um, changed their um, thing to color dodge. I think this one's on color dodge. Uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was on color dodge, um, but I put a gradient map on it, so it turned it to black and white. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I need to add. Um, it's kind of the same as this one. Obviously, I added the lines in there. They, I don't know. They, I don't know if I like them anymore. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. Um, I think that is it. I'm gonna leave the download link to the Photoshop file in the uh, in the description below if you want to use that. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe, like the video, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching.